Member for Yalibu Pangia Peter O'Neill has put the government to task when Parliament resumed today, calling on Prime Minister James Marper to explain what the government is doing to address the escalating law and order issues in the country. O'Neill raised concerns that police manpower is needed in hotspot provinces like Hela and Enga province as well as others. What is your government doing to address the breakdown of law and order in especially two provinces? Our one province of Ella and Enga provinces. If your government has got some firm proposal and firm actions that it's going to take in addressing this issue, please confirm to this honorable house what resources that are you allocating in terms of manpower and funding so that we can put a stop to these senseless killings in this country, Mr. Speaker. My third question is that the Prime Minister has made many public pronouncements that you will arrest this problem, you will prosecute these murderers who are still running around in our country, roaming around freely, intimidating innocent citizens, particularly our children and our women. Prime Minister Marape, when responding, said the government is doing its best to address the issue at hand. That the government is not resting, is not sleeping. Uh, in fact, uh, any good government or any consent government must respond to every issue uh, that is prevalent uh, in, in their country. And in this case, in our country, our government is sensitive to the issues that face us. The compounding uh, problem of restlessness and lawlessness is a result of many, many years of neglect to the youths. Uh, and Marpe further assured the parliament that the government will be allocating more funding in 2024 to boost law and order in the country. The extra manpower supplied through the use of Defence Force and the additional manpower deployed through mobilising the mobile police into those trouble spots has been a short term putting band aid sort of solution to what is a cancer that is eating in our midst. But the long term solution, Mr. Acting Speaker, really has been in investing in police and the full law and justice sector. Meantime, Parliament has been adjourned to tomorrow, 10 a.m.